Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. When creating paragraph or area type, option click on Mac or alt click on Windows in the image area to set the width and height of the paragraph type bounding box. Or click and drag with the type tool to define the region. To resize the paragraph type's bounding box, just drag on any of the anchor points. Command drag on Mac or control drag on Windows on any of the anchor points to resize the type. I'll cancel this. Now to make changes on this type layer, I need to select what I want to affect. Clicking once will set the text insertion point. Double click to select a word, triple click to select a line, or click four times to select a paragraph. I can click five times or just use Command-A on Mac or Control-A on Windows to select all of the type. To increase the letting, I'll hold Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows and use the up or down arrow keys. To reset to the auto letting settings, I'll use Command Option Shift A on Mac or Control Alt Shift A on Windows. To change alignment, I'll use Command Shift on Mac, Control Shift on Windows and tap C for center, R for right, or L for left. To justify the paragraph and left justify the last line, I'll use Command Shift J on Mac or Control Shift J on Windows. To change the justification rules, I'll use the flyout. Making small changes can help remove rivers and orphans when working with paragraph type. Command Option Shift H on Mac or Control Alt Shift H on Windows will toggle hyphenation. To allow hyphens and other punctuation to hang outside of the paragraph's bounding box, enable the Roman hanging punctuation. And when working with multiple paragraphs, the Adobe EveryLine Composer will almost always produce better looking paragraphs with more consistent spacing. Use Command Option Shift T on Mac, Control Alt Shift T on Windows to toggle between the single line and the EveryLine Composer.